Hey everybody, Brian Voskel here, Pit Face Barbecue Whiskey Crew, and uh, you are here for another episode of Will It Christmas. Which episode this is, I'm not sure, you'll have to look up here. This is uh, what we in the industry refer to as an episode that is in the can. We'll uh, figure out what day this one goes out. Uh, you can look at the um, background lighting, it's a little lighter. This is obviously a bit of day drinking for this episode, and in proper day drinking, I mean, I'm still in my uh, boxers, because you can't drink all day unless you start in the morning, right? This one's going to be fun, we're going to make it a uh, quick hitter, and look, if day drinking doesn't mean you have to ease into it, we're going hard with a little Old Forester single barrel, barrel strength rye. Now, this might be uh, blasphemy for some folks, because I mean, this is a, this is a good rye, it's a little bit harder to get. I'm not saying it's super rare, but you can't just like walk in and get it anytime. And I'm actually going to blend it with some other stuff. Good idea, bad idea. I don't know. Now, this Old Forester uh, is pretty heavy on the, like, it's got a good cinnamon kick to it. Um, you know, maybe like a little white pepper. Uh, the oak, by the time you blend these rye spices and stuff, and it almost comes across as like a little bit of a, almost like cedar, maybe. But it's delicious. But we're not here to drink anything by itself. We're here to try to find out if this stuff will Christmas. And to do so, we're taking good old reliable The Knot, adding just a boo. And we see what we get. Oh, I just spilled all over my desk. Whatever. I'm not going to show you the video of me slurping that up. That'll come later. Might have to charge like extra for the premium content of seeing that happen. Whatever, let's see what we got. We got a nice little blend in here. And I tell you, on the on the nose, proof is still coming through. Uh, this Old Forester is 64.1%. That's a massive 128.2 proof. It is coming in hot. And you're not going to just kill that proof on the nose with a little bit of the knot. But I got to say, like that cinnamon, it's almost a little sweeter cinnamon now. Um, imagine like you going from the cinnamon sticks to like cinnamon toast crunch or like the cinnamon sugar that you spread on your toast. Now, you can certainly tell this is a, this is a formidable drink. Um, it's got that burn. That's a delightful burn, but. I'm right back to that cinnamon toast crunch. Like this creaminess got added to it. Now instead of thinking of the cereal itself, it's almost like the the milk afterwards. It's like if you took that milk and spiked it with something, you know, 128 proof. It's kind of what you're getting. Oh. Very viscous. And uh look, the knot often dominates the flavor when you put it in there. It's got such a distinct flavor that's like you start with that and then you pick up something subtle from whatever. But the knot is now like back in the background. It's in most cases it's Ralphie, but in this case it's Randy. And you know that's a good place for it to be, I think. I'm not going to go so far as saying it's better than Old Forester uh, Barrel Strength Rye by itself. But in a Christmas pinch, like if you want that delicious delivery of inebriation that eggnog brings, but you want to fast forward it and get a little more hair on your chest, uh, this is a pretty fine option. And it's going to make sure that the rest of my day is a pleasant one. Got to log in for work here and just no, I'm just kidding. In case any coworkers are watching, this is a this is a weekend. This wasn't a work day when I filmed this. Uh, let's give it a ranking. Uh, let's go with four ornaments, one wreath, and two cups of eggnog. And I am happy to say, this will Christmas. I'm gonna have. I will drink at least this much more of this. I'll probably kill this bottle with this concoction. I mean, it's. It's the Christmas spirit, right? This this will Christmas. This is good stuff. If you can get your hands on a bottle, make the little uh, collection happen, the little combination happen, give it a sip, tell me what you think. I don't know where we're at in the uh, contest, still taking entries. Hope you saw the 
uh, special episode on the 17th where uh, you have a chance to win some rub and one of these glasses. It's a pretty fun episode. I know it runs a little longer. Hopefully I made up for it by being shorter on this one. Y'all have a good rest of your Christmas season. Keep spreading that holiday cheer, and we will see you on the next one. Cheers, everyone.